Hot cities. We are tracking in a really nice morning here at TPC Deer Run. We're gearing up for the fourth and final play of the John Deere Classic. I know the big story on or question on everyone's mind is those rain chances. We'll get into that in just a second. Do want to give you a look right now, though, on the Mississippi River levels as we're expecting that river crest to occur here in the next day or so, and it's expected to crest around 20 feet. As we head through the next week, likely going to hang out around that 20 foot scale, but we'll really have to watch out for any more future rain chances because that could just keep us prolonged into that flood stage. So we'll keep a close cool eye out on it. Live look outside right now from our Bridgepoint camera, though, we're seeing a bit more cloud cover as we're tracking in a system. That system bringing in some chances for showers and storms for us throughout the morning and likely another round heading into the evening hours. So far, though, here at the course, sitting dry. Temperatures also a bit warmer than it was yesterday. 67 degrees here in the Quad Cities. Dew point temperature is also comfortable right now, but likely going to be on the rise. Temperatures across the area are in the mid to upper 60s this morning. 67 in Geneseo, 65 in Clinton, 67 in Burlington. Here's a look at radar. Most of us are nice and dry so far for this morning, but we have seen a couple of showers and storms, especially in the Dubuque region, did bring in a couple of lightning strikes with it. We'll have to watch out for this line, though, that is out towards Des Moines so far for this morning. Those showers, I think, are going to impact the area through the rest of the morning and going into the early afternoon. So we Looks like we'll see some rain at least throughout the next couple of hours. However, a system out to our west, that's going to continue to keep those chances of showers and storms on the board as we head through the next 48 hours. So here's what we're tracking for the John Deere Classic for this week uh, today. Uh, we are seeing those few rain chances again, scattered storms at times for today and temperatures are going to near normal as we head through the next couple of days. And we are also seeing temperatures in the low to mid 80s for us for this afternoon. Again, likely going to feel a little muggier, though, as we keep that south southerly flow in place through the day today. But you can see at least through noon, we keep some rain chances on the board, but I still think there's going to be plenty of dry time for today. So here's a look at future track. Again, most of the rain looks like it's occurring for this morning. By the afternoon, though, starts to fizzle out. We'll see plenty of dry time. And I think if you're expecting wanting to head out to the Lenny Wilson concert for this evening. Looks like I think we're going to be good to go right now. That second wave is trending pretty later in the evening, maybe only expecting some showers and storms in eastern Iowa as early as eight or nine o'clock. And we'll keep those shower and storm chances on the board through tonight. Just looks pretty isolated in coverage. Kind of the same story with that isolated coverage for tomorrow. We do see some more cloud cover for Monday and temperatures remaining pretty similar, but there's still going to be a couple more chances for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Looking at that rainfall, we really, again, have to pay attention to any extra rain that we could see right now through Monday morning into the early afternoon, expecting anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch. If you find yourself in one of those heavier downpours, could get up to around an inch. Looking at your eight day forecast, so plenty of dry time in the next eight days. However, by the middle of the week, we might have to reintroduce some shower and storm chances, especially as we track in remnants of Hurricane Daryl into the or barrel, excuse me, into the Midwest. But by next weekend, it also looks like heat and humidity are on the rise as we could head back to the low 90s. Good morning.